Hey, Benny Ferguson here. Welcome to another video. And today we are talking all about the high brick squat. Now, if you were to rewind back into ancient times, you might have seen bricks or blocks used more prevalently in Taoist practices or ancient Tai Chi practices. And uh, I found that they're very useful still today. So the brick squat, it's not, it's not a gimmick. It's not one of those modern balance fads or anything like that. What it's specifically going to teach you is to direct your weight down into the main supporting structure in your foot. It's also the main acupuncture point. And then because we're on the bricks, if you don't, then the bricks can topple forward, back and all of that sort of thing. So through this process, you're going to start to strengthen the whole lower body around this center point in the foot. It'll mean that you'll start to learn to open and strengthen your ankles. If you've got tight ankles, start to strengthen your knees. If you get knee pain when like the knees collapse and all that sort of thing, strengthen all of the musculature up through the thighs and the pelvis. And then in time, as you master this movement with the breathing, then you're gonna get a very strong and controlled lower body through a full range of movement whilst on the bricks, which supports a much more relaxed upper body because your foundations are very strong. So I'm gonna take you through how to perform the high brick squat in this video. Enjoy. To set up the bricks, I recommend that you place them a little wider than your hip width, as I'm demonstrating here. The wider the bricks are spaced apart, the deeper you will train the tissue of the hips. Take care when stepping onto the bricks and ensure your mind is as calm as possible. You're looking to direct this center point of the foot directly onto the center point of the bricks. Once you've aligned the center point of the foot, place your weight onto that and then step up onto the other brick. If you need to use a wall or chair to support your balance initially, then feel free to. Now, take a few deep breaths and find your balance. Put your awareness on the center point of your abdomen. Breathe in and relax. Allow your head to lift and your tailbone to sink and feel your weight rest on the center point of your feet. You're ready to begin the breath squat. Cross your arms and relax your shoulders and let's get into the lowering phase of the breath squat. The top half of the movement is a lot easier biomechanically than the bottom half of the movement. And your tempo is dictated by the amount of breaths you intend to take between the top position and the bottom position. To descend, inhale whilst drawing your abdomen in and allowing your spine to elongate. As you exhale, then allow your body to sink and relax. Inhale and pause. Make sure that you maintain control. Exhale and sink a little deeper. Do this for your allocated number of breaths. The bottom half of the breath squat is significantly harder to perform under control. So it's very important that you pay extra attention here and don't rush this part of the movement. Continue to inhale and expand your spine and relax and sink your tailbone. Practice keeping your weight centered on your feet whilst keeping your whole body as relaxed as possible. Descend as far as you can under control and intend to improve your depth with time. After performing the lowering phase and you found yourself as deep as you can whilst keeping your feet centered, you'll then continue the breathing action that you established in the lowering phase. Breathe in the bottom phase and find continual deeper and more centered and relaxed position. Stay here for the same amount of breaths that you took to descend in the lowering phase of the movement. It's tempting to try and push yourself quickly out of the rising phase, but it's very important that you do this under complete control. Inhale and rise up a little. Exhale, sink and relax and pause. 
Then inhale and rise a little more. Exhale, sink and relax. Complete this as you move through the bottom phase into the top half of the movement. And then continue this breathing action until you're standing up upright as you began the movement. You perform this raising phase for the same amount of breaths that you perform the lowering phase and the bottom phase of this movement. Expect for your legs to be working very hard and keep your spine as relaxed as possible. It's not uncommon for your lower body to shake involuntarily. This is often a sign that your nervous system is learning and in time it will change as you begin to build connection and strengthen the whole lower body. You've now completed one rep of the breath squat. I know it's tough, but practice patience and consistency with this movement and it will yield very powerful results for you to release your whole body of tension and strengthen your lower body more deeply. When you're stepping off the bricks, make sure that you be careful once again, like when you're stepping onto the bricks. Simply transition your weight, keeping your hips as level as you can, and then step down nice and smoothly. Once you're able to perform all phases of the movement for at least 10 breaths with complete control, you should be ready to start to stack the bricks higher. This is going to force you to direct your weight down into the center point of your feet more precisely. There's no need to move beyond a stack of three bricks high. Thank you.